Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to insert a table to your map uh, live graph. All right, so this the uh, uh, application or graph that we'll be creating in this exercise. So from this window, we have our graph on the top. On the bottom is our table. And I'm using the example from uh, map uh, live documentation. Except that from this example, I'll be using a different data source. And from the code we'll be uh, writing, I made some modification on some of the uh, label names and some of the uh, setups that I'll be doing to make the code easier to read. And as for the data source, I'll be using uh, this table right here. So I think this data source is easier to understand than uh, this, whether this data source is. So from this table, uh, I'm going to uh, name that as the table. So on the top, we're going to have uh, four different regions, south, north, west, and east. And in the index column, we have six different months from January to June. And this is going to be our uh, values that we're going to graph. In case you are interested, I'll post this link in the description below. If you just want to uh, grab this example and trying to understand each step on your own. All right, so let's create a blank Python script. So I'll start by importing the libraries. I'll be uh, using the NumPy library, pandas, and my pandas. And let me uh, increase the font size. Right. Let's do this. I'll put the uh, Excel sheet on the left. And close this. And I'll start by reading the uh, table using PD. Read Excel. It will pass the Excel name. And I'll set the index column to the first column. Now let's extract the data. So from data for an object, I can grab the numbers by referencing values uh, property. And if I simply print the data object, oh, we got to activate my environment. And that will turn a nest list. So if we look at the rows, this is going to be our first row, second row, third row, and fourth row, and so on. Now let's grab the labels. Now let me move the example on the left. So we can just do a side-by-side -side comparison. Oops. Let me zoom in. Now let's grab the labels. So I'll name the label, colon labels. And from the data frame object. So I'll type df.columns. I need to convert the label to list. I'll do the same to uh, index as well. And I'll name the index index labels. From df.index, I want to convert that to a list. And these two lines or two statements is corresponding to these two lines. Oops. To this. Uh, to these two lines. And the data object is corresponding to values. So let me insert notes. So this is going to be uh, data to the chart. Right, so we're going to create our variables to store different settings. So settings. I'll start by creating a variable to set the bar width. We're going to create a, a kind of like a, a stack bar graph, except that in this bar, we're actually accumulating the numbers from January to, uh, to June. So if we compare the colors, and this will be January, followed by February, April, actually not April, March, April, May, and June. And when the numbers get uh, larger, the color will also get a little bit darker. Now we need to create our index positions. So the index positions will be the uh, X positions where you want to insert the bars. 
So I'll name these index positions. It will be uh, creating a list of values. So from numpy.range function, we need to generate the index positions. And it's based on uh, column labels count. Because the bars are not going to be positioned in the center by default, we kind of need to play with the index uh, position value a little bit. So I'm going to increase each position value by uh, 0.2. Now if I print index position, the first bar is going to get inserted at uh, 0 0.2 on the x-axis, and the second bar is going to get inserted on uh, 1.2 on the x-axis, and so on. And here's the uh, color template setting. So let's grab this value, and let's copy and paste. All right, now we can create our graph. So creating a uh, mapper loop graph. So from the example, let's see what's the graph creation. Okay, so I think they created a graph with uh, message for PLT. Okay, so from this example, they created a graph in the in this loop right here so let me go back so i want to increase the window size here i'm going to insert plt.figure i want to uh, specify the window size i want to uh, set the window size 10 by 9. next we need to uh, create the offset values every time when we insert a new row and i'll name this list y offset is equals to numpy dot zeros oops zeros and we're going to insert the number of zeros based on the column labels and this line is corresponding to this line right here and it's going to return us four zeros returns four zeros so let's print the y offset uh, variable first and here I have a Rows is not defined. Oh, okay, so this should be index labels. So here's our um, beginning offset position on the y axis. So every time when we insert a new block, we're going to add uh, each value by the block height value, and which you will see in a second. Now let me uh, pull out the graph. So noticing that from this table, we have one, two, we have six rows, and we need to create a container to store each number or each value, and insert those value into the table later. So we need to create a list, and that's corresponding to this uh, statement right here. So I can just copy and paste, and it's going to store text we want to later insert to our table. Now we can create our bar graph. And from the example, uh, it's using for row in range number rows. So for this loop, I'm going to say that for row index in range, I'm going to in, uh, insert the index count. I think for me, uh, this is easier to understand. First, uh, the example. And here I can graph uh, the bars. So we need to insert the uh, column labels, which is which is this column headers right here. Then we need to insert the uh, y value. So if we look at the uh, data table, our first row starts at ninety two hundred, and we're going to divide the numbers by 1000 just so it's easier to read. So just need to keep adding the value every time when we insert a block. So here we can grab the, uh, the first row value. So it's going to be this row index. Here let me do this. 
Next, we need to insert the bar word. And this should be, I forgot the D, All right? And the uh, uh, y-axis offset value. And the default is going to start from zero. Color. And we'll send the row index value. Now, if we simply just uh, display the graph, and this will have so far. So, noticing that uh, the darkest bar, so this is actually representing this value right here 5,304 cells. So, we need to uh, update the y offset value inside the loop. So you're going to append the value by the next uh, row value. This should be data followed by row index. Now if I graph the graph again, now we have the correct uh, bar graph. And because we are inserting a table, so we need to grab this uh, cell text list. And we need to append the value from each uh, from each column into the cell text list object. And I'll use the append method. And I'm going to insert loops comprehension. So I'm going to say that for value, actually let's do for V in Y offset. Oh, actually let's name this uh, Y, Y value in Y offset. And I want to divide the Y value by 1000 then we need to uh, format the number and it's going to be one decimal place and it should be that format and let me print the cell text list first Okay, so this is what I want. So this next list are going to be the text we're going to individually insert onto uh, this table. And this will be creating the graph. So from the documentation, it's using plt.table method. And here, let me uh, copy the link. And this is the documentation on the table uh, object. And these are some of the uh, property information. So you can go to this on your own. And because there are actually quite many things you can do or formatting. Let me go back. So from my parallel module, I want to insert the table method. Inside this method, we need to specify the text in each cell. And we can uh, insert the cell text list and row labels. And it's going to be coming from index labels, column labels. Is coming from column labels and the color in each row. I want to uh, make sure that the color for each bar is corresponding to the color of each row label. So from the row colors should be uh, O U R row colors. We need to insert the colors object and the colors object is coming from this. Uh, plt.cm. Cm stands for color maps and it's the uh, color map setting. And the column width for each column. And since the parameter name is uh, column width, and we need to insert this. Each value is going to be the column width for uh, each column. So this will be the first column. 
and the column does not include in the labels. In this case, will be the uh, month label column. And since we have uh, four columns, so in our list, we need to insert the column with values four times. Values uh, 0.25. And lastly, we can set the location. I'll set the location to the bottom. Here, let me uh, put the example back. Now let's take a look at what we have so far. All right, so um, here's our graph and our table. And noticing that the table looks a little bit messy and everything is crammed together. And let's fix that. So what I want to do is I want to save the table output as data table. Next, we can take the data table option. We can do uh, things like we can set the scale size. So I want to uh, increase the scale. I want to take a look at the uh, scale documentation. Let me just do a search scale right here. So the first parameter was set the uh, column width and second uh, parameter was set the row height. So for the column width, I want to keep everything the same, but for the height, I want to increase that to two. And next, I want to increase the font size. And I'll set the font size to 12. And let me launch the graph. And we need to remove the one well, of the uh, x axis label. So I'll remove the x axis label using the x text method. And I'll send the label as an empty array. And lastly, we need to uh, move the, the charts or the graph a little bit to make room for the table insertion. And we can do that using subplus underscore adjust method. And I'll push the graph from the left by 0 0.09. Let me see what, what the example uses. Here, let me just copy uh, the setting. So I'll just copy and paste. Oh, and I need to insert a title. And let's name the, uh, the graph map live table demo. Let's take a look. And this is what we have so far. And notice that uh, the room on the left is too much. So there's too much room. And I'll decrease the uh, value on the left by one. And that looks much better. And my June is cut off. So here, let me see if I can increase the bottom value. And 0.3 is too much. So we can uh, use 0.25. So 0.25 seems to give me the best result. And looking at this graph, I'm pretty happy with the result. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.